Would I be better off without my triplet brothers? This is a very difficult question and has forced us all to look beyond two things, the negative and the present. Doing this has led me down a road I was not expecting, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. This story starts out with three boys. Uh, describing James, he's really full of himself. He thinks he's the best at everything. Tim's an anomaly. Nobody can figure Tim out. He, it's just, he's just very narcissistic. But people liked me. They thought Mark was kind of weird. Um. Hi, James. Hello. So I'm Mark. I'm the oldest of the three triplets. I am James. I'm the second triplet. Uh, younger than Mark, probably two minutes older than Tim, but I don't remember. Yeah, I'm Tim and I go to Dixie State University. I go to school at Southern Utah University, which is in Cedar City, Utah, AKA Shithole USA. And I'm currently going to the University of Utah, which is the farthest away from the other two by no accident. Um, my relationship with my brothers has definitely changed over time. Uh, like going from when we were all BFFs, I wanna say until we were like, what, 13? But we just started not liking each other as much. Started kind of being like the competition thing. Always being compared to the other one was, was a struggle for all of us. Like I saw like social interaction and what not, like between like the brothers and everybody else as kind of a competition. Uh, just like grades, sports, when we, we used to all play sports, that was always a competition. I guess you could say dating in some ways because we've had times where we're all going for the same girl. Uh, I think our parents did a, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say because we don't really have another perspective of if they did good or bad because it's how we were raised. But I would say it was all right. I mean, yeah. None of us are doing hard drugs that I know of. <laughs> I, I wouldn't trade having triplets for the world. It's been really hard, and if I had triplets again, I might do some things different. It's hard to say what it's like raising triplets compared to not raising triplets, because it's the only thing we've ever known. We think it had a different rhythm than it does for parents who just had a single child. I think it was difficult for them to kind of have their own identity, to always be lumped together. But they're always just the triplets. They're always the drapers. They, um, I think they, once they hit their teenage years, they all kind of struggled more than most kids would have to kind of develop their own identity. So how to describe each individually? They've always been, they've always been different. James is definitely a little narcissistic, a little full of himself. I think the narcissism really comes from just uh, once again, just being everything being in competition when we were younger. Like Mark was like better at filming or something than me, and then Tim was like better at sports than me. So I felt like I had to make up for that. I don't know if like like getting with more girls than they did, or just having more friends, or trying to make people like me. I'm definitely a lot closer to him than I am to Tim, and that's uh, for a number of reasons. Um, and some of the pretty obvious, we just look alike and we're often grouped together as kids. Um, and along with that, we think alike. You know, when they were younger, they, one of the differences was a lot of times Mark and James's creative play was different than Tim's creative play. And so I think sometimes he thought his idea wasn't as good or they thought his idea wasn't as good because Mark and James would have a similar idea and Tim would have a different idea. He was always kind of like the outsider. And actually talking to him, he, he kind of sees that as a benefit. Um, but at the same time, I also think um, it was detrimental to how people viewed Tim. I mean, he's smart in a different kind of way for me and James, maybe less in, less in an academic sense. And uh, because of that, and I think he gave up um, school. Having uh, James and Mark compared to with uh, school kind of made me uh, not really try my hardest and just kind of settle for average in school. So me and Mark are open, like I have a problem keeping problems in and not telling everybody. 
Tim is very good at keeping things in. He doesn't talk to my parents. He's not very open with them, never was. Tim, I don't know what's happening. He doesn't talk to us a whole lot. Mark's an interesting individual. Uh, he's definitely the nicest triplet, without doubt. Ask anybody. Um, arguably too nice when it comes to girls, which is why he was less successful in that area. He, I think he could have grown a lot more in high school as far as like confidence and whatnot, but me and Tim kind of beat him down every time he got back up. He, he thinks he's a piece of shit sometimes. And uh, I think that was because compared to them, I'm a little less uh, masculine, I guess you could say. Um, maybe a little bit more sensitive outwardly. Um, and they would really pick on that and try to make me feel like I was worthless. Uh, I, just, I just remember at points just how toxic our, my relationship with my brothers were and um, just the terrible things we would say about each other and, and do to each other. I think they've gone through this period as they're older where they don't get along as well. And I think they forget how much, like through elementary school and when they were younger, how connected they were. I have to tell you that when they were, when they were really little, they were just completely adorable. Their little relationship and just, you know, children of that, little kids are just so cute. And to have three of them all at the same age, same kind of loving disposition and joyful, joyful way children are was really, really something to see, really precious. So it's interesting, when I went into this, um, this journey asking the question, would I be better off without my brothers, I kind of had an idea of what I would say and, and um, I wanted to kind of emphasize the negatives of being a triplet. But it's been really interesting um, talking to my parents and then going back and watching the old footage of us and it kind of brought back um, the things that I've forgotten about how awesome it was to be a triple when we were little. We used to always say, every day's a play date and every night's a slumber party. And that's how it was when they were younger. To have that, that close companion turn on you and try to get people not to like you or to make you feel bad about yourself really hurt. I know there's times where they are like, I hate being a triplet. I hate my brothers. I hate being a triplet. I know there's been that. I think it will come back around because they have this person in their life that they have shared a really unique experience with. And I think as they, it's interesting, it seems like that's shifted already. They've all been gone to school and it hasn't been that long and it's already shifting. Uh, I think the future really should be better because we're living apart and not living with each other. Distance makes the heart grows fond. Um, you say you love your brothers? Uh, I would, yeah, I'd say so. Would you say you love your brothers? For sure. These past couple months when I've been saying bye to my brothers, we've, we've, we do this to our parents, but well, see ya, love ya. And that's just a little thing, but I think that's, that's a great sign for things to come. It really is. It'll be good.